Hello, welcome to Yoga for PE with Victoria Otto. Let's play. Let's begin with a modified sun salutation, including some of the muscle groups and other aspects to fit the shape of American National Standards. Let's begin by tuning in. Think of tuning in just like a basketball player would step to the free throw line. You want to do the same thing every time so that the body knows what's coming next. It sets the nervous system, the muscular system, and the other systems of the body to, to recruit them to go, hey, we're going to shoot this free throw. So here we're going, hey, we're going to do some meditation, mindfulness, and yoga. So it's always good to begin your practice with that. My students have three choices that they can make for hand positions for tuning in. For the first, very traditional, is a knee on mudra. Each of your thumb finger pounds are connected, are acupuncture points to the brain. So connecting the thumb and index finger together starts to activate parts of the brain. There should be gentle applied pressure to that pound. Notice that the hand is resting off of the, the knee here so that the elbows can be straight. If I'm slouching in my spine, you'll see this. If I'm reaching through my spine, you're going to get those elbows straight. And that is our ultimate goal in this tuning in position. The second tuning in position is simply stacking the hands right on top of the left thumb, the hands coming together, and they just rest right in for a lap. The third, and my personal favorite, is prep pose. Why do I like prep pose the most? Because I feel for me, it activates and recruits my brain and body. Uh, the best. So underneath your shirt is your thymus glands, kind of in charge of your immune system. So we have our thumbs together and you place your thumbs right on the thumbs there. Second, you want to push and apply enough pressure between the palms to raise the elbows so they're horizontal to the floor. That's going to start to activate the corpus callosum and get the hemispheres of the brain communicating with each other. So translate. Secure my thumbs, I push into my my palms, I close my eyes, I take a nice long breath in, and exhale, take a nice long breath in, and exhale, one more time, nice long breath in, and exhale. Let's begin with half moon sun salutation. Interlace the fingers, index fingers going up, thumbs are crossed. Breathing in nice and tall, squeeze the glutes, squeeze the quads. Belly button going in and up. Triceps are behind the ears. Take a deep breath in and exhale. Push the bottom hand into the top hand, pushing the hip off to the side. So the split in your legs is at a diagonal. Breathing in, come on up, and exhale over to the other side. Push, push. Push that bottom hand, push that bottom hand. Breathe in, take a breath, drop that hand back, and exhale, push your hips forward. Breathe in, come all the way up. And exhale, let's begin by placing your hands just below those kneecaps. And the goal is to be a nice flat back here. If we want to, we can do a little cat cow. Breathe in, drop our belly button down, and exhale, curl it up. Breathing in, drop that. Breathe it in and drop it down. Exhale, curl it up. Bring it into a neutral position. If you're comfortable, drop down to the other angles. If you're still comfortable, drop down, bring the palms to the ground. And if you're super comfortable, you can wrap those hands around, taking a deep breath in, and exhale, pulling your body into the shin. Bring in everybody looking up into your monkey. Bend your knees, separate your hands, shoulder width apart, top or step back into the plank position, adjusting yourself so the shoulder, hands are shoulder width apart, the feet are hips width apart, and holding your hand here. Let's hold it for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and on the floor, lower your elbows. Straighten the sides of your body so your whole body hits at the same time. Take a deep breath in, slide your elbows forward, 
to the shoulders, or right underneath the shoulders. Push up and pull the scapula bones in. Bring the sides of the feet together. Lift the chin and exhale. Breathe again. Push into your palms, come out into extended cobra, shoulders away from the ears. Take a deep breath in and exhale. Swing those hands around. Remember to keep the hip pointers on the mat. So we're going to bring our hands right towards our pectoral muscles. Elbows are spreading out to the side, so let's pull the elbows into the side body. Tuck them in there, hugging that side body. Take a deep breath in, lifting up, push. Ideally, keep the hip pointers on the ground. Elbows might be bent, such as I'm demonstrating right here. Flip those toes, push up, and then exhale into your downward dog. Hands are shoulder width apart. Feet are hips width apart. Relax the armpits towards the kneecaps. The hat is in alignment with the arms. The goal is to get your wrist, your elbow, your shoulder, and your hip joint in one line. And on the bottom, you're going to get your ankle, your knee, and your hip joint in one line. We want to form a triangle between the upper body, the lower body, and the floor. Take a nice long deep breath in, and exhale. Let's do two more breaths. Breathe in, and exhale. And one more time. Take a nice long deep breath in, and exhale. Bottom of this exhalation, lift your heels, bend your knees, pull the belly button in, look at the space in your, between your hands, and as quiet as possible, pop those. Good. Breathing in, pop the monkey pose. Exhale down to your forward bend. Breathe in, and exhale. Awesome job! <laughs> Uh-huh. <laughs>